There should be an abundance of pumpkins that come flying out. All right, while he's going somewhere. Damn, it did work. Sunny day monitor. <laughs> Hey everybody, you know what we about to get into, man. We about to get into this Disney Ween White Wally W Disney, you already know. Now, Disney did take a rare L the other day. Not just Disney, but Game Loft. They took a little, little minor L, and that's because my game is somewhat broken right now. Um, because I did do a time travel when I was doing that video about how to make money. And basically, that means none of my crops are going to grow back like my trees aren't going to grow back some of my crops are stuck and some like oregano and flowers are stuck but that is going to fix itself in due time about a week's time because i <laughs> i was being stupid and i put it ahead a week so it doesn't fix itself until the game catches up in real time to a week so you know it is what it is i don't really trip too much on it i like doing a little bit of time changing because i don't like playing at night too long too much Mostly when I'm trying to garden, it's like it gets a little bit too dark in here. It's a vibe at night, but you know what I'm saying? So right now we playing in real time, but uh, I probably will always skip a couple hours ahead or a couple hours behind just so I can play at night during the day. But this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm thinking about making a whole new garden section because I learned a lot about the way this game works off camera. Big shout out to Tagback TV, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. Big shout out to him. I learned a lot from him about these crops. So basically, you plant the crops in the biome that you get the seed in, and they grow at a normal speed. This whole time, I've been planting these crops in the main village, and they grow at double the rate, or half the rate, I should say. So where it would take an hour to do something, it takes two hours to do something. I didn't know that. So that okra down in the main village, that's taking twice as long there to grow as it would if I planted it in the glade. Also, I was on here messing around uh, last night and I always had my own music playing. And I actually put in some Final Fantasy VII music and y'all know that's my favorite game ever. And it gave this game a whole vibe, man. Like, literally, it made me feel like... It just made me feel great, man. So I had to throw a little bit of a piece of what I'm talking about in. Uh, how much music matters in these games. I'm going to just leave them for right now. I don't really like the oil plants. I know that's what he was saying is the easiest way to make money. I just don't really like them, man. Because they you got to water them three times. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. But I want to unlock the... I want to unlock the... Uh, the Halloween spot. The Halloween spot has got pumpkins. So I'll just show y'all what I'm talking about. So off camera, I made this little section up here because I wanted to see if this stuff grows faster. I don't know if I'm going to actually make this a garden section because I don't really like this canola oil that much anyway. It's okay, but I prefer a crop that takes longer and only has to be watered once, which is like the pumpkins and the uh, okra. So if I want to do the okra, the okra would need to be placed down here in the glade. I don't really want to turn the glade into a a uh, farming place right now because it's not that big. And I don't want to make a whole nother patch because this stuff takes a very long time to make. Uh, my Since my game is broke right now, um, rare Disney Game Loft L, just a rare one rare one you know what i'm saying i have to wait until the date or i either have to travel to the date so i could time travel back to where i was and it would put this stuff back or i could wait until the date catches up and then the game will be fixed again so it depends on how i want to play it uh if i get tired of doing all this other stuff i'll just go back up and skip a day ahead and then just have to wait one extra day but i'm getting a privacy fence so it's like i'm gonna be busy next week anyway so i might as well you know, skip one day ahead because I'm be outside, man. I'm be doing a lot of gardening, a lot of mulching. I got lights behind me. I forgot I put these back here. Halloween vibes, man. Look at the Halloween vibes going. I'm about to strangle my damn self with these lights. Look at this, man. You know what I'm saying? Spooky season. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Spooky season vibes, bro. They go from purple to orange to medium purple. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So I don't know how I'm going to put these up around me or behind me, but I just had them on a chair for right now. All right. So the place that I want to unlock is actually up here. Now, I don't know 
It looks like the only place to get up through there is here, which means I'm oh no, right here too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might be able to get there right now. Y'all hold up. Let me see if we can get up there right now. I might not have to progress as much as I thought I did. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to show y'all the music I was talking about too. Wait a minute. Y'all know about that Tiffa's theme, you know what I'm saying? This is Bay's theme song. When she come out, you gotta play that Tiffa's theme song, yeah. I threw her in a dress because I was like, you know, I might as well get some use out of these dresses, right? And I made her hair in a ponytail, which I like the ponytail a lot. There's so many options in here, man. It just make it really feel like you in the game doing something different. I love it. I love it. And then check it. Like, if you got a fight scene coming, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why they could, they could really do this, too, because they Disney has Kingdom Hearts. And Kingdom Hearts, I keep saying this, but it's like Final Fantasy with Disney. So just pretend, like, something pop off in the woods up near the elephant graveyard. And it's like, oh, man, something just popped off. And you add this music to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, we got to go, yo. We got to go, yo. I love it. So now we got to go say the village. You know what I'm saying? We running up with the sword. And we got to say somebody in the graveyard. And then we get to fight. You know what I'm saying? We get to fight in here, yo. That would be, that would be optimal. That would be optimal. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. That would be, that would literally make this game one of the best games that ever existed. I still think it's one of the best games that ever existed, but that would really just push it into a league of like, what else you want, bro? But uh, we got time. We got time. They could always pull that out their sleeve some other time. Oh, we can open this. It need 15K. We need 15K. Do we got 15? Ooh, we do. We got 16. We got 16K. Oh yeah, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Well, hello. Have you? I was gonna open Frozen's up, but I, I, we're gonna do this one first. Night Thorns. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Chief. Thank yeah. You. This the Halloween section, man. So now we can have some music. Hold up, here's some music for y'all. So like, you know, what I'm saying you could pretend you got Bay doing something. You got Bay out here doing something. This her theme song. You know what I'm saying you got Bay out here in the woods, yo. Y'all know that's a vibe. Don't even sit here and act like y'all don't think that's a vibe. That is a vibe, yo. I'm telling you, Final Fantasy VII is still the greatest game of all time. There is no game that competes with it. From the music, to the characters, to everything. S-tier game, bruh. S-tier game. I was just saying any other dresses we got in here. Oh, I got this one, which is really extra. And then this pink one, which was very expensive. <laughs> this white one is kind of fresh, though. For some Disney princess vibes. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you gotta have you gotta have a bay in this game. The fact that you could do that so easily. W game loft. Let's turn this music off, though. This one would fit perfect. Yo, this one fits perfectly, yo. Yeah, oh, we want to upgrade this. Yeah. Ooh, we got pumpkins already. Yeah, I'm just saying, bro. You know Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game. I didn't know they was coming out with Crisis Core. I never played Crisis Core, but Crisis Core is what happened before Final Fantasy VII. So I'm definitely going to be playing that on the channel. I don't care if only one person watches the video. We're playing that on the channel. Yeah. I, I know it didn't get as much love as my Sims and this, but that's my favorite game. And you know when I enjoy something, we got to play it. Um, let me keep upgrading this star. I might as well upgrade it. I mean, how much money I got? 900000 yeah, I almost got a million dollars in here, man. Farm King, bro. Tell me that okra. You can't beat that okra, man. But now I think these pumpkins. These pumpkins are even more. Oh, we got leek seeds, too. Which leek seeds. Okay, now I'm going to test this out. I'm going to buy uh, tomato. Ooh, potatoes or pumpkins. Damn, if I go by this, 
if I'm buying a pumpkin for that much, selling it for this much, 300 to 1,000, that's a major, major, major W. Because that means I can take, what does that mean? That means, oh yeah. And then we got the, yeah. Unless you get a bunch of tomatoes, I mean potatoes. But everybody keeps talking about pumpkins. So let's get 600 pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I probably need a little bit more than six though. So let's just get seven. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay. Matter of fact, let me sell you something. Let me sell you something. Let me sell you something. Let me sell you these carrots. Cause the only reason I did this was to waste time. Yeah, carrots are way out of date. Get rid of the soil. Uh, some more okra. I'm saying that just like my grandma. That's crazy. I didn't even mean to that time. Okra, not okra. And then we're going to buy another 100 pumpkins. Whoo, we about to be rolling in the dough. We about to hit a million. We about to hit a million subscribers and a million dollars. I'll, I'll lower the stats for y'all too, by the way. I said a million subscribers. I'll shave my head by the end of the year. Give me to 100K and I'll shave my head. My head. 100K by the end of the year though, which is still extremely, extremely hard. But you know what? I'll do it, man. Get this channel to 100K and I'll cut all my hair off. And you know I've been growing my hair out, so I cut it off and start with zero. I mean, I think it'd be worth it, man. I mean, I need to, we're growing this channel though. I'm, I'm extremely excited now when I look at my channel statistics and I see every day we growing. That mentally has a big effect on uh, creativity. That and y'all comments. Y'all comments actually was the initial thing that made me keep going so much was how much y'all was showing me love on the content I had been putting out. We got a lot of new people over here and uh, it just made me really motivated. And now I'm looking, I'm seeing we growing new people every day, finding the channel from the algorithm. It's just, it's nice, man. It's really nice. I'm very appreciative of all of y'all just coming through, showing love, staying, supporting the channel. You know what I mean? And then uh, the real MVPs, the real GOATs, the real S tier subscribers is the ones this this members and only fans members because y'all y'all supporting monetarily as well as uh as well as, as well as emotionally you see what i'm saying y'all supporting with some doski which that is important right now too because until we get to a certain point y'all keep me moving so i can keep the lights on so all these lights i can't keep them lights on man can't keep the lights on unless i uh do something else and y'all want me to keep putting content out so I am publicly funded right now. What's that? Oh no, I probably should pick some of these flowers too. Is this be yeah, a quick travel? Let me open this up so I can get this. You know you could even move these in the game. 10k, that ain't nothing. I just ran through this money like crazy. I had $900,000. 964. And I only got seven, seven something. What is this? What, what tree is this? Gooseberries? I ain't never heard of no damn gooseberries. Now I should do the pumpkins here. That's what I should do. But I mean, look at this area, man. It's kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like in the woods. I mean, it's very Halloweeny. I could appreciate the Halloweeniness. Ooh, I just got a recipe for a snowman. You can build snowman. That means Christmas and in the seasons. This game isn't even technically out yet. Like it's out, but it's just, it says it's still in early access. Which people was um saying about the game being broke and how the developer said well they wouldn't go fix it right away or whatever but i'm like yo game loss still is a major w bro just because they got other things to worry about don't give them any less of a w they are still a major w i'm gonna just walk down here ain't no need to fast travel this game is so good and it has so much potential on so many different levels that i just and i do remember game loss why i know who they are they made Asphalt. I never really played Asphalt that much on the phone, but Asphalt has been around. Whoops, I didn't mean to plant that. Asphalt has been around from like the beginning of the iPhones. So, um, yeah, that's why I remember that name. They make mobile games, which is really, really impressive. The fact that a mobile game company made a game that was this dope. Like, come on, man. Y'all got to give Game Loft some W's because mobile games suck. I mean, I'm not knocking mobile games because I did like The Simpsons, but for the most part, mobile games ain't, ain't really my thing. But this, this is perfect, man. And the thing I don't like about a lot of mobile games is I don't like the whole like, hey, do this and then pay for this to speed it up. Like, nah, bro, I'm not, 
I'm not trying to hear about that. Uh, but that's why I like more traditional games that have like incentives where you can do that and not pay. Everything is not pay, which is nice to hear that this game is never going to be like that. Uh, let me, I'm going to have, since everybody, by the way, I, I maxed everybody out. Everybody's a 10 except Ursula because Ursula, oh, we can get Ariel when I'm going to get Ariel. Um, be a friend. That's crazy. Ursula is hard to get up because she doesn't get out the water. So I got to bring her gifts and stuff. So she's going to be the last one. But I have Anna with me right now. And Anna is a garden specialist. So that's cool because we about to do gardening. And I also figured out that the key to success with this energy bar is eating souffle. That's how you say that, right? Souffle or soul food. Soul food? That's soul food? We eating soul food? Nah, but souffle, I think that's how you say it souffle is the key because you see how much it gives you and it's super easy to make because everything is at remy's spot and on top of that i didn't know there was an auto fill button i learned all of this from the homie tag back tv man big shout out to him um i've been watching him a while and uh he's really gave me a lot of tips about this game that i didn't know because this game kind of hit me out of nowhere like i didn't even know this game existed you know, I was joking the first episode. I didn't even think. I thought this was going to be like some little kid game. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and I want to watch the I want to watch the little thing that had a keynote about what's coming to the game. Because I heard Lion King is going to come soon. And then we're going to have Toy Story 2, which is going to be really dope. So we're going to have some Lion King action and some Toy Story action coming very soon. Which means we're going to have even more characters, man. Now, I know y'all probably don't want to sit here and watch me do this this whole time. You know what? Maybe right now would be a good time to actually watch the keynote. So, like, we could do two things at one time. Because that's all I do when I do this. I'm either scrolling on the phone somewhere or, like, watching TV, just holding the button down. So, let's do that, by the way. Let's do that. Let's do that, matter of fact. Let's do that. Toy Story and Lion King coming. Oh, there ain't no damn Zoom meeting, is it? That was the... I swear, bro, like... That was one of the things about Corona time that I hated so much. Everybody on these low budget webcams trying to act like they telling me something like, bruh, you can't tell me anything if you're on a crappy webcam. Like I'm a YouTuber and I have a $5,000 camera that y'all see me through. You are a CEO of a company and you can't get a better camera. You feel me? Like I don't want to hear it, man. So let's see. I don't really see nothing. You got this. This is the trailer for the update. That's probably the realm they'll be in. That better not be copyrighted music. Also, we do shrink down to their size. And then we'll probably get bigger back when we go to the to the normal spot. And they'll get smaller. That's going to be cool. Bring your friends to the valley. Yeah, see, look at them. They running around like crazy. That's dope. And we got Scar. That's going to be lit, man. So I don't really show much of nothing, so never mind. I thought it was like a keynote we could watch while we were doing this, but that's cool. It's no big deal. I could either talk to y'all or we'll just speed it up. Y'all want to get that Final Fantasy vibe, though? Let's get that Final Fantasy vibe, yo. Yeah, get a little music in the background, man. I, I like the music that's in this game, but it could be a little bit more um, prominent. You know what I mean? You can't beat the Final Fantasy lo-fi though. You got your characters with you. Like this game has got a lot of that part of Final Fantasy that I love actually. You got a little pet animal with you, which I don't regret spending that $80 on this pack at all. I mean, I get all in Moonstones, which will probably buy a lot of battle passes anyway. But just the fact that we got the Regal Fox, she need a name. I want y'all to post a name in the comment, which you want Disney Bay to be called. And then we'll, just like with the fox, y'all got to give me a name for him or her. And then uh, I'll pick a name and then that'll be the name from here on out. And why not have y'all pick it? You know what I'm saying? Y'all watching the video. Hopefully y'all watching and loving this Disney. Because I really don't know. As of right now, only one video has come out. So I've been recording this game so much. I had to edit all these videos. And uh, that takes a nice chunk of time. Because I do everything myself right now. So I edit the video, thumbnail, all of that. So a lot of times what I'll do is if I really am enjoying the game, I'll play it for like seven, eight days straight. Just go crazy with it. And then I'll have to edit those 
those videos from those seven to eight days, which could be like 10, 12, 15, 20 videos, and then I'll schedule them out. So if you wonder how I work, that's how I'll be working, man. I'll be working all day and night, but you know, it's cool because I enjoy what I do. And if you enjoy what you do, it ain't really, it ain't really like work. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. You know this music is a vibe though. This little sheet is basically telling me how many characters I got on what setting. So we got six gardening specialists, four mining specialists, one fishing specialist, one digging specialist, and two forging specialists. So I want to get one more mining specialist and then mining should give me as much as gardening does when I pick this out. Because when I pick these pumpkins out, there's going to be an abundance of extras let me go ahead and eat some food real quick look how quick this is two meals bruh two meals and look at my health bar I'm so glad I got that now you see how fast that was and it's giving me that yellow and you know the yellow bar is like I feel like it drains twice as slow than the blue one I don't know if that's facts or not but it's just seemed like I can get a lot more done with that blue one I mean, with that yellow one maxed out, then I can if just the blue one's maxed out. I like that Barrett's thing. That Barrett's thing fits this this uh, vibe kind of well. Because you know what I'm saying? You're in a town. It's kind of upbeat, you know? A little upbeat, towny kind of song. Don't it fit? It fit, like, perfect to me. Gives you that classic RPG-type music. I can't believe we still doing this. This has been going on for a while, man. You know, I did the math last night and it actually takes 25 minutes for me to plant all 600 of these plants. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm only gonna do one side though, because I know this is like the most entertaining thing in the world. But it does make it better with the music, I'm not gonna lie. The music makes it a little bit better, and if y'all chilling out, I guess we could just chill out and plant pumpkins. I mean, we got the lights going, keep y'all entertained while we doing this. Keep y'all entertained, bruh. It's a little bit more intense music now. It's more intense. Damn, I'm trying to wrap this around my head, but I still got my hand on the controller. Every time I get it, yo, it just messes up. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. I can't. I can't, man. I can't. The music got intense, yo. The music got intense. There's like something going on. Oh, it's so crazy how music can set the energy of a game or a movie, ain't it? It's like we're in a hurry now. And now we chilling out again. Now we chilling out again. Got more of a mysterious vibe going now. I don't know if this is the actual music. It sounds a little different from the original. I think it is might be like a remaster see this fits the game this actually fits the game very well Barrett's thing I wonder how long these pumpkins gonna take I think they like it's like four hours I think something crazy We got plenty of other stuff to do, so. Alright, all the pumpkins is cropped. I mean planted. You see these crops still work fine, which is nice. 
Y'all wanna rock the hottest merch in the game? Well, go over to samedaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming, lanyards, all kind of stuff, man. So go over to samedaniel.com slash shop, get the hottest merch, man. I got it on right now, because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my Uncensored Sim videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube, and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you gotta go over to the OnlyFans, man. Let's get back into the video. Hold up, we might have got it, we might have got it. Let's tuck it here, yup. Okay, hold up, y'all. I'm about to make a light up crown. I'm about to make a light up crown. Hold up. With one hand, though. One hand. If you ain't got a light up Halloween crown, what the hell are you doing? It's gonna be hell when I had to get up. <laughs> it's gonna be hell when I had to get up, yeah. Yeah. If you ain't got a light up crown, what you doing, yeah? We got some light up crown action. This is, I'm Halloween AF right now, yeah. We got a Halloween crown. This isn't really the setting I wanted, but it's the setting we're on, so. This would actually look kind of dope if these were black wires instead of clear wires. Let's let let's let Disney Bay get a little bit. My dude got tired, so he went back to the house, got got Disney Bay, told Bay to uh do some gardening. Oh, she got nails too, by the way. That was a that was a um perk for Mother Gothel. So she actually got nails with her jewelry. Which hold up. If I put her in this, maybe you could see them. Yeah, see, so she got rings and nails, bruh. I was like, yo, that is so dope that you actually can have nails in here. And that's why it's cool that you can make two different characters because you have a lot of stuff for the Disney princesses that if you're a dude, you ain't really going to be wearing it. I mean, if you want to, you can, but, you know, I don't really do that. Some dudes do, though. Some dudes be out here in the dresses thinking it's funny. And, hey, that's on you. I never thought dressing like a bitch was funny, so, you know, that's on me. Even, like, some comedians, they be thinking that acting like a girl is funny, but it's like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is, but to me, it's not funny. I never thought it was funny. I think my I think my light-up crown is funny. <laughs> but, you know, that's just my type of sense of humor, you know? It's some five-year-old action, you yeah? Disney Bay out here planting seeds in a dress she need a different outfit on yo this is her evening look we got to give her a we got to give disney bay her 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 yeah her more outside look she can still be grounded you know what i'm saying oh we could throw the rings on her with this too yeah oh you can't wear the rings with the watch though now nah, that's lame that's lame you can't wear the nails with the watch that's a rare that's a rare l for y'all that's kind of a rare l i don't understand that i could wear the ring with the watch but i can't wear the nails with the watch Hey, it is what it is. I think it's time to let the crown go, though. It's getting a little bit annoying. We can keep the, we can keep a little light action, though. And we gotta turn some different music on. Since Bay out here doing the flowers, she gotta had a, she gotta had a Bay music playing. What's the Bay music right now? It's Arab's theme. You could either be Arab's theme or Tiffa's theme, but you gotta have one of them playing, yo. Yeah. When Disney Bay out here doing her thing, you gotta have the music right. She don't come out often, but when she do come out, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make it lit. We almost done. We almost done. The only thing that kind of sucks about now that I watered that side before I watered this side, those are gonna bloom up like five, ten minutes faster than these. So if I'm still recording after I don't know how long these pumpkins take, if they if they take four hours in the normal biome, they might take eight hours down here. But they're gonna look so good part of the town with all these pumpkins right in front of the town like this. I don't know if I'm gonna end up leaving my garden patch here or not, but if I do, 
it will give me a little bit of like decorations. I think I might cut it in half. If I leave it, I might cut it in half because I want to bring Minnie's house up here and that's what we're going to do after I'm done doing this. We're going to play with Minnie's house and then I'm going to turn this music off and maybe uh, add my own in because I don't know how this is going to edit. I might just like keep the dead air in this spot since it's kind of a vibe. We're just chilling out talking. Listening to the Final Fantasy 7 music. We got four, five more to go, man. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Now we just gotta water them. Watering is the easy part. It'd be nice if they gave you a little bit more range as you progress. But I honestly, the fact that this game is still technically early de development really show you how much they can really get done when it's a full game. Like people was talking about the Halloween. You could have like Jack Halloween, I think that's his name. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas and you know they got hella Christmas movies. Like the things they can do with this game if they wanna make it, which they do. They wanna make it like an Animal Crossing competitor, which I don't even think it's a competitor. I think this game has topped Animal Crossing five tenfold with the things you can do the graphics the fact that you can make your character look like a real person you can have two different characters at one time which is a hidden w that most people don't know because mostly for me but you know it's a game coming out on switch called story of seasons i think or something like that and and in that game you can find a girl and you can get married you can have kids like i want to see them add that to this game because it's fun man it gives you like it gives you that real true metaverse feel you know where you could live your life in the video game i like that i mean i'm creating it anyway with the little storyline i got but to actually have both the characters i created live in the same house would be dope and they have kids too like come on man that's that's very lit which i probably will play that game when it come out I don't think it's gonna come out till next year sometime, but I'm gonna be playing that. Any game that's like this, where you farming, you got a good storyline, I'm gonna play it. Uh, now, not every good, not every game is a good farming game. Like I would consider Animal Crossing way more than a farming game. Same with this. This is way more than a farming game. I mean, you make money from farming, but it's way deeper than just planting crops. This is just your money making. This is like your day job. You know what I'm saying? So not every farming game I'm going to like. But this one is so much more than that. That's why I was saying this was this was a good template to add like marriage and kids. A little bit more than just the normal stuff because it's so realistic and you have such a town vibe to it. Let's get this memory. <laughs> the music changed. You got more real. Look at look at this. I'm telling you, bro. My Disney Bay. They need to make her into a movie. Disney, hit me up, man. Let me design your uh, Disney princesses for you. You know I'm the king of making baddies on The Sims. Let me help you out. Oh, this is new, by the way. This little thing hanging. I should probably turn this Final Fantasy music off. It's setting the mood, though. It definitely is setting the mood. We're going to turn it off, though. Okay, so we got all the pumpkins planted. I do want to see what's up with my canola oil, because that might be done up top. But I don't think I'm ever going to plant canola oil again. I mean, big shout out to Tag Back TV. I'm rocking with you, bruh, but I don't like canola oil. To me, it's not worth it. All that, all that watering, it's just not worth it. So I'm going to pick these. Look at my girl, Anna. She's throwing out all kinds of fruit. I mean, uh, plants. I do have six garden specialists, though. Damn, I missed that one. Damn, and I just messed up and planted a pumpkin. I hate when I do that because I don't think I can pull that up. I should have just kept going. See, when I do it like this, it messes up the whole flow. I'm going to pick these blue ones up in about... Eh, give it like another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Because if you don't pick these up soon enough, they'll they'll stop turning blue and they'll be harder to pick up. 
Might have waited a little too long. Oh no, we good, we good, we good. Just wanna get all these extras down. We just made it. I even missed some. But as y'all can tell, this game has been <laughs> so, so lit, man. Just, just, just in case y'all, if y'all don't know the way this is going, I recorded The Sims 4 first. Right now on The Sims 4, I'm, I'm very far in the, in the upload schedule. I'm probably uploading this before I even play Sims 2. I played Sims 2. I built a house in Sims 2. Very long episode coming soon of that. If that has not already come out. Um, cause I know y'all was hype about Sims 2. It was the first time we ever played Sims 2 on the channel. But, uh, all right, I think it's time for me to pick these up. But I've had so I've been doing so many videos, man. So many different things I've been editing that uh they all coming out, you know, some of them are coming out before others. And this game I wanted to put out early because it's new. And like people new people going to find the channel because of this game. And I still like I just watched the Nintendo Direct, man, and like nothing about Animal Crossing, nothing. That was such a weird that was such a weird business move for Nintendo to just abandon Animal Crossing like that. I mean, so much more could have been put into that game. And they was just like, nah, we done. What is that noise? It sounds like somebody's like trying to kill Donald Duck. Oh, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping, man. Somebody trying to take out Donald. I really hope I can pull this up. I don't think I can, though. If I can't, that's going to be a big problem. Because I don't want that up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sell all of these. And then we're going to get into some town designing. I just saw a trick in one of Tagback's videos where if you put the villager in a fence, they won't throw the extras out until you take the fence off. And then they'll throw them all out at once. So then you don't have a time limit with these blue ones. I would try that, but I just I don't feel like doing with that right now. I don't even have a fence, I don't think. I think I've used all my fencing. Speaking of fencing, I need to get the recipe for that white picket fence. Because I like that picket fence. And I don't have a recipe for it, so I can't even craft it. Alright, wasn't nothing there. That. So let's go ahead and sell this that we just did. And then we are going to mess with the layout. Because I want to get Minnie's house up in the town. So let's sell all these canolas. Pensacola soldier. Pensacola soldier. I thought I told you. Sell all of them. See, that wasn't that much money, man. For all the work that that took, that was not enough payout. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I get that you can make money faster. But if you're doing it like me and you got all this crop area, like 600 plots, it's better for it to just be big and long. Take. <laughs> that's how crazy it's better for it to just be big and take a long time because if that's the case then you don't have to worry about plucking it and when you pluck it it'll be worth your time if you if you uh had to keep watering it and all of that and then you had to spend all that time to pluck it up and then you don't really get no payout i mean what really makes that doesn't really make a lot of sense see what i'm saying i ain't really making a lot of sense if it don't make no sense, then it don't make no dollars. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me move some stuff around. The, the red tree got to stay. Uh, I'm going to move all of Remy's stuff up. This little fence I made. All of this got... Oh, I don't think I showed you. I put Remy's restaurant next to the apartment. I just think it looked better that way. It kind of feels more like this is this little restaurant district. And then you come over here, you got the store, and then you got my house, Mickey and Goofy. And I really would have liked to put Mickey and Minnie's house together. But the problem with doing that is that Minnie's house is bigger than Mickey's house. And it's way bigger than Goofy's house. So her house really don't fit. Damn, I might have to I might have to wait. I don't know. If this is starting to get in the way with this time traveling, I'm going to just time travel to where I was. And we'll just have to miss a day. And when it fixes itself, it fixes itself. Because I need to see if I can't pull this oregano up, that's going to be a problem. A bad one. Yeah, this is a big problem. Now let's see if I can, if I can still get this place down though. Let's see, cause it might just delete them. If it deletes them, I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. Let's see though. Let's see what it do. Was that a night shard? I think it was. Okay, so let's go in here and let's see if we can place a house 
on top of that oregano matter of fact i might just be able to do this see i don't think so y'all i don't think so i think i might have to put this game back where i dropped it yeah see it ain't gonna let me place this where that oregano is and that's gonna be a big problem yep it show sure is okay i think i'm getting my fence let's see i think i'm getting my fence on that day so if i go ahead and put it on that day i'm not gonna be tripping if it's one day ahead plus we really in the episode so i'm gonna fix this real quick i'm gonna up the time and then we gonna play and uh it'll just be one day ahead so i'll be right back okay i said it i said it for like one hour above when my last recording was that was ahead of time so hopefully when i go in here it's, a, it's gonna be a little later so it's gonna be like around seven o'clock but if everything worked properly yeah exactly some of the plants have actual crops on them that's interesting though because you would have thought that this would have been i can harvest that uh, it might not be far enough y'all it might not be far enough i see some of these you see my apple trees my lemons but not everything i might have to go up a day yeah i might have to go up a day one more day because this is still not letting me pick this oregano all right i'll be right back this should fix it if it's not fixed right now i might be a little bit a little bit worried just a little bit i'm not really worried because i mean worst case scenario i'll start this whole last game over and it'll still be fun that's how much i love this game but it should be fixed now Good yeah morning, it is okay so the key okay this is about to go crazy all these pumpkins are about to start popping up yeah okay so this is cool so a week from now on the day i get my fence the game will be back to normal in real time look at all these pumpkins this looks amazing i don't recommend you time travel but if you kind of know what you're doing it's not really that big of a deal you know I got it. but you need to you need to keep it very tight keep it tight because you see everything is back to normal now i do need to pick all these pumpkins the whole point i did this though was actually to do the design of the town but it's such a crappy day we can pick the oregano again yeah see it's fixed so that's how you fix it i mean you just gotta take it to the date and uh hopefully nobody took their game too crazy like a year ahead or nothing like that because if you didn't do that you should be fine let me see how it looks if we do some decorating though uh, it's gonna just rain and be just like it is i'm actually kind of impressed so it's just gonna be raining and lightning and thundering why are we doing the decorating now this is what i was thinking i was thinking bring mickey's i mean minnie's house mm. see her house is a little bit fatter than mickey's she actually got a nicer house than mickey but i want the little town vibe oh, i didn't realize there's some oregano to the left of her house too i need to pick that up or to the right of her house need to go pick that up real quick i mean i don't know her house it looks like it would go next to Goofy's house more than it would Mickey's house, don't it? Because it's got that, like, old raggedy wood look. I don't know. I just want my, my village to feel real tight-knit town kind of vibe. They need to throw some boots on, though, with all this rain. She got to throw some boots on. Can't be out here about to slip and bust your ass on this damn slick pavement. Yes, I definitely think of the game that realistically. If you don't, you got to, man. It keeps the fun. Can't be out here in your bare feet, bare feet when it's raining. That's a quick way to snap your stuff up. I don't really like Minnie's house up here. I'm not gonna sit here and tell no lies to you. It really doesn't fit too well. It really don't, man. But see, they don't have a lot of houses that fit. I mean, how would it look next to Mickey's house? I always thought it would look better because they're like a couple, but then Goofy's house would have to be moved over here, which is going to be the same ugly energy. Look how bad that looks. That does not look good, man. We can't do that. We can't do that, man. Come on now. Undo button about to go crazy, though. Look at that. Undo button is so, so helpful. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, we could do it. This lightning is like tripping, tripping, tripping. I need to have a damn flash warning on this man yo i i don't know if i told y'all i think i did tell y'all about it the lady that had a daughter that was epilepsy and she um oh was these able to be pulled up yeah they flashing too perfect so my game is back to normal i just have to play today and then 
not let this time travel any farther up, and then next week my game will be fixed. This lightning is kind of getting on my nerves, though. I'm not going to lie. It's just, like, too much flashing, man. Like, are we in the club right now? I mean, I got my own lights right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, maybe if I could scoot this over. Oh, that just deleted the tree. Undo button is so helpful. and so helpful. So we can put it here. That doesn't cut into the sidewalk any. Uh, that's, that's right, right? Mm, no, actually it is not. That actually digs into the back a little bit more. But I want it to be flushed, so... I mean, what other houses do we have? I know we got what's her name crib, but this can't go down here. This is going to look ridiculous down here. This will look like a straight up church, an ice church in the middle of a summer village. I mean, like we could make it work. I'm not even going to sit here and say we couldn't make it work. It's the fact that it has ice on it, though. If it didn't have ice on it, we could pretend that was the church and that would work. But the ice, though, the ice is like a little too much, man. Just like this lightning is a little too much. This ice is a little too much. Man, I'm really not feeling this, y'all. I'm not feeling this at all. Oh, we can move Donald's boat, too. I guess it, this game is so good with the way you could just move things around. Let's just give this a, a quick try. We're going to give it a quick trial. It's going to be a quick trial, too, because if it don't look good after a while, I'm taking it up. We're gonna give it a quick trial. We're gonna um we're gonna pave it off just up to the doorway. And if this don't look right, then we gonna have to just figure out something else. I mean it just the wood in these houses look a little too ratchet to be around these nicer buildings. And it's really tight back here. It's very tight back here. Almost so tight I need to move it forward one. But if I move it forward one, then it's gonna stick out here. And we already got a tight space. Which is why I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up where I have less crops, maybe to about here. And then I'm going to open the sidewalk up so we can still have the trees in the middle, but we got room to walk around. Because right now, there is no room to walk around whatsoever. Let me get a villager so I can so I can um, get these crops. I'll collect this dream light while I'm at it because I'm going to need to unlock Elsa's spot. It's a very satisfying sound, ain't it? So who's a gardening specialist? I mean, we could use Mickey, we could use Kristoff, uh, Anna. I need to get my mining up too. Oh, you know what? I need to go to the valley, not a glade, while it's raining. Because Frozen, Elsa wants me to catch a fish while it's raining. And I haven't been able to catch that fish. I tried this three times and still ain't caught no fish. And maybe it wasn't lightning enough or raining enough. I'm not even seeing no fishing spots open down here, though. Come on, man. We got to have at least one, right? Ain't no fishing spots. I'm going to just throw it in the water and see what happens. Throw it in the water and see what happens. What did I catch? Oh. Uh, we got seaweed. Man, I got to catch some... Uh, I think it's called a glittering herring. Which I've caught herons out here, but no glittering heron. And she said I gotta do it in the glade while it's raining. And I don't know how else to figure this out. Okay. Here, let me show y'all the mission. Maybe I'm missing something. Elsa wants to feel a little more at home in Dreamlight Valley. Together you decide to prepare some meals inspired by Arendelle. Make sure... Oh, I already got it. What the... F when did I catch a glittering heron, yo? <sighs> I'm sitting here looking for something I already got. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, that, that just kind of threw me off. I have so much I can do. Let me go talk to Donald Duck, too, because I could fix his boat. I might as well fix his boat while I can. <laughs> These boots is looking mighty official, yo. This is a dope outfit, yo. This is a dope outfit. I like this outfit. It just stopped raining, too. Perfect timing. <laughs> What's up, Donald? You all right, bruh? Yo! What happened? He going crazy. What's wrong with you, man? You good? Let me fix your boat for you. We've got all the tools. Now we just need somebody to fix the boat. Can't you do it yourself? No way. All right. Uh, Great idea. McDuck construction to the rescue. Let me track this mission because I wouldn't mind getting his boat up. Follow Donald to his house. I thought this was his house. 
Did I make a house for Donald Duck? Nah, this is his house. You screwed. Oh, okay. So it's just the same thing. You need me to put money up so you can live in it. Got you. That could be fun. Blah, 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 blah. How much money you want, McDuck? Oh, you didn't even ask for nothing, did you? Alright. Donald got his boat back. Good day to you. Uh, let's just do a little small talk. Bye -bye now. Might as well go inside Donald's house to clean it up. It better be these dream weeds, cause what do you mean clean it up? Can't Donald clean up his own damn house? Lazy, bro. Why are you so lazy, man? Was Donald Duck always this lazy? Is that it? Yeah. How you that lazy you can't clean up your own house? You need Disney Bay to do it. Great friend, find out who it made man if you mind. I think it's a time capsule. Time capsule property of Donald Duck. If not Donald, do not open. Go ahead and open it. Can't wait to see what's inside. Wait, she gave he gave it to me? So you want me to open it? Alright, well I will. What's in it? Oh a little picture. I don't know what movie that's from. Before, before, the, before the forgetting, I did all the planets of the village come with Super Genius Special Projects. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime, Donald. It's so much dialogue, man. I would really love to get into it, but I just, I don't have the brain capacity. And that's a damn shame because it would be fun. Dang, he just gave me a new outfit? Well, this outfit look kind of, kind of fresh. Oh uh, yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad for Disney, bae. Um, let's see what it look like on me, though. Why is my shirt green all of a sudden? Why my shirt green? Disney bae was like, nah, I ain't doing no fishing. <laughs> yeah, I said, I ain't doing no fishing. She called me back into the mix. This is the fishing stuff. So I gotta put this on. Catch some fish in the ocean. We can do that. Why well, I gotta wear this goofy outfit to do that, though? I mean, I'm not tripping, tripping, but... Catching fish is pretty easy. It's fun. I still can't believe we still doing story missions in this game, man. This is this is such a good game. The fact that you got all this creative power, and then at the same time, the game is this deep. Like I've been playing this game nonstop for like a week, and we still doing quests. We still enjoying it. And I mean, I'm not really rushing the game because I'm having fun with it. The pace I'm going. So I like to balance out the storyline with like the creative aspects of it. But um, the possibilities with this game are endless, man. They really are endless. I cannot wait to continue to put out content for this game throughout the holidays, throughout now next year. I think the game will be official next year. So it'll be like actually out of early access beta or whatever, which I'm hoping these items I got are very rare because I don't think that many people going to pay that $80 for this Regal Fox and a couple items. But I'm that guy, pal. I am that guy. Is it dumb? Probably. But you know what? First of all, I'm not playing this game again like I did with Fortnite. And then second of all, it's kind of my job. So it makes sense. Morning. That's the dope thing about being a uh, damn, bro, I'm not like messing up with this. That's the dope thing about being an influencer, entertainer, entrepreneur. Because everything I buy, I'm really messing this up. Everything I buy is a tax write-off. Because everything I buy is entertainment-based and I use for my business. So like my camera, my games, my TVs. Everything that I buy is used for YouTube, which is my business. So everything is, is write-offable. And that's just the way of business, man. You can't hate the player, you gotta hate the game. It's funny because I used to be like watching the debates and they would always be like, oh, he did this taxes and he wrote off the taxes. But it's like, bro, when you a businessman, when you a business owner, businesswoman, like the taxes that you have to pay are insane. I mean, insane. Like you talking about tax time come around, the government won't like 10, 15 racks from you. like. It ain't the same for business people as it is for normal people that, that work a normal job. So if you don't write stuff off, if you're a business owner, you a damn fool. Like, so if I'm doing this and they like, okay, you made such and such amount, you owe us $15,000. I used to hate tax time. It's so funny because everybody loves tax time unless you're a business man or woman. And then it's like, oh man, here we go with this again. But, uh... Yeah, man, like you can you can be twenty fifteen thousand dollars, 
twenty five, and that was just on on normal salary that you make. Like if you a millionaire, you got a million dollar business. I can't even imagine how much money you pay in taxes. So you have to write that stuff off, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to you have to get your business right off. You got to get your tax breaks. You just make too much money. Um, so yeah, you got to write your stuff off when you're a businessman. And that's what's funny because like I remember hearing politicians. I forgot it was a while ago. They were saying that they was using like they would have business meetings with like strippers. But they wrote it off on their taxes. And I remember like, man, that's crazy. That's like fraud. But then when you own a business, it's like it's really not fraud because you have to have business meetings and you have to entertain the clients that you're having a meeting with. So a stripper kind of is a tax write off. Like say if you do OnlyFans, you can buy anything for your OnlyFans and that's a tax write off. If you decide to pay another actor, actress to be in your video on OnlyFans, that's a tax write off. Like it's a different world, man, but I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I love the business world. It can be a little bit it can be a little bit manipulative, which I don't like. I don't like that about the business world. That's because I'm more of an entertainer than just like I own a product based company. I'm more entertainment, so I don't like manipulating people where when you own a product, you kind of got to manipulate them and string them along. I don't like doing that. I mean, you know, it's like think of Apple, like how much Apple plays this game with their phones. It's like, mm, but they have to because they got to keep you strung out. If Apple don't keep you strung along on the phones, they don't make no money. And then the investors get mad and then the investors pull out or the investors. So it's like the investors make make the real big decisions, not the company. Which is kind of like if you think about entertainment, your subscribers, your fans, your whatever you want to call them, they kind of decide what you do. Like if I post a video of, let's say, I don't know, a game called Snow White's Treehouse and nobody likes it and I keep posting it, that's bad for business. So I would be stupid to keep posting that video because y'all, as the investors, don't like the video and it ain't making no money. So it's like I can't keep posting it. In a company, though, that's more the investor's job. So if the investor's like, yo, this product, you might like it, you might love it, you might want to be innovative, but it ain't making us no money. So unless you fix this, we're going to pull out our money. For y'all, it would be pulling out your time watching the video. You see what I'm saying? What's this? Oh, I can find this little pig for Moana. I forgot. Moana got this little cute pig, man. And it's probably going to be a pet companion we can get, possibly. I don't know. Even though nothing's going to top the regal fox. It's like I got to follow the paw prints, maybe? I'm just trying to catch some more fish. And it's looking like I'm going to just have to do it by manual because there ain't no more fishing spots. We're going to just do it manually. That didn't count. Damn, bro, how much seaweed can we catch? I mean, seaweed is cool because that makes rope. But I need to catch some fish. I need a fish. My computer's whistling again. All right, one more fish, one more fish. I really got to find out what's making my computer whistle like that. I'm thinking it might be the radiator, though. For the cooling on the CPU. It can't be the graphics card because that graphics card is brand new. And it's not a heat thing because I have the entire side of my computer wide open. It's just like all of a sudden it just starts. And it's got to be like the fans of something or a radiator or something because it's like, and I turn the AC on and it gets really cold in here. It don't whistle the same. That glare kind of messed me up. Come on, man. Give me something else. Come on, bruh. I mean, I love seaweed like everybody else, but like, can we get a fish? I ain't even complaining though, because I'm gonna probably need some rope anyway, so all this seaweed is gonna come in handy. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. I mean, this is getting ridiculous though. Everything I throw out is seaweed. All right, perfect, there we go. Here's your fish, Donald. Now, supposedly this is gonna be a catfish. Let's see if you was right, Donald. Don't be lying, bruh. Don't be lying. If this ain't no catfish, that's your ass. That's a time capsule? What? You found another time capsule. Hit around the village. Give it to me. I was expecting that to be a... I was expecting that to be a catfish. Alright, let's open it up and see what it is. Okay. 
So the wizard made the time capsules. Merlin. If Merlin was there, it must have been a really important. Part of my memory is still foggy. I also saw a place in Sunlit Plateau. Do you know anything about that? I do. I do. Must have hid something there. What about the catfish? Catfish can wait. Let's go to Sunlight Valley. Sunlight Plateau. Did I say Plateau? I think I said Plateau just a minute ago. Sunlit Plateau. What you want to do? Woo 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 woo. Go to Sunlit Plateau and find a location from the memory. All right. Well, where was you at in the memory? Let me see. Where was we at? That was here. Find a location in the memory. I mean... We got some elephant bones. We got some elephant bones, a big tree. Elephant bones and a big tree. Uh, that's gotta be right here. It's gotta be right here. Yeah, there it is. Whoops. Pull that up, man. I already got a hole there. Can I get it? Yeah, there we go. Now we can just open it up. Oh, I gotta give it to Donald so he can open it and then I can open it. Don't make no damn sense. Here, here Donald, take this. Another time capsule, but this one looks different and it's locked up tight. Whatever's in here must be super important. I'll try bashing it against a rock for a while. Thanks for your help. Wait, we never did manage to find a catfish. Maybe Goofy was right after all. Uh, let's just forget this whole argument. Yeah, but I bet Goofy will never forget. Okay. No problem, man. You already maxed out, but I appreciate the leveling up. You know what I'm saying? So we got all these pumpkins. Look how great this looks, man. This is why I like having a garden in the city. I know it's going to take twice as long for stuff to grow. But like, come on, man. Look at this pumpkin patch. Like, you can't tell me this pumpkin patch isn't an entire vibe in here. I am going to probably make it a little bit smaller. Let me just uh, go to the map real quick. Yeah, I'm probably going to make it like maybe here. <clears throat> here. I'll cut it, cut here, bring the street down. That way we have a little bit more room for the trees. More of a walkway type vibe. I'll probably take one of these bushes up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going I'm to eat in. Uh, where do we want to start? I want to start. Psh, I don't want to start too much. Let's eat in three. Let's eat in three. Let's eat in three. We'll do three. That ain't bad. Let me change my outfit too because my dude looking crazy out here. In this little funny outfit costume. What's up with this green shirt? That is not my shirt, bruh. I got my black shirt on. What is the shirt broken now? What's up with his shirt? Got the black hoodie. Okay, yeah. He's got his black shirt on. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're going to eat into this three. I do need to grab a gardening specialist because I'm trying to capitalize on all these pumpkins. Let me drop some of this stuff off at the house too while we over here. Let's start with these flowers drop these flowers off some of these ain't gonna go but it looked like all of them did actually that was convenient then in here we'll throw the seaweed over here we got the dark crystal i didn't ever had that before so we got i thought that was a dark shard we got more pebbles which will come in handy when we building a pebble street possibly got more coal more dark shards got some clay Got a little clay. I got to throw these in here. We got a key. Um, The gemstone goes in this one. The dream shard. That's going in there. This is a crystal, which I'm going to take the ignorance out and just leave this for crystals. There's also a door that I found from Mickey, and he needs all different color crystals to open it. So I wanted to see if we can do that. I'm going to just put these ingredients in here because this is all stuff for missions. Uh, we'll put the ignit in here too. The ignit, the gold. I mean, we could pretend it's like metal and materials. I mean, some of this stuff just has to get extended. That's just the the harsh reality of it. Until I get bigger treasure chests. <laughs> I almost wanted to say a different word for some reason. Different treasure chests that will. I'm gonna leave this key in my pocket. That will expand expand the mem memory. I cannot talk worth hell. I swear. But I'll be, I'll be asking a lot, man. I'll be asking a lot for my brain to do, so I'm not mad at it. Can't be mad at your own brain. Now, let me throw these fish in here. Got a crab, swordfish. Oh, this is the sparkling heron. I swear I don't remember catching this glittering heron, bro. I do not remember catching that at all. I must have caught that in my sleep, because 
I don't remember that at all. I'm going to keep that in my pocket, too, because I got to make something for Elsa. And I forgot what it was. Um, The pumpkin seed, we'll leave that in there. We got leek seed, throw the oregano in there, which that's a double ingredient. I don't like doing that, but we'll probably use it. Same with these blueberries. I just need to use them. I don't like having doubles, though, so we're not going to do that. I like maxing out to 50, and then that's the end of it. Then the sticks, the raspberries. This is uh, canola. Yeah, we'll throw that in there. And then what is it that Frozen wanted? Frozen wanted wheat and butter. Make sure you have the ingredients in your inventory, wheat and butter. So I got to take it to her. So I'll take this wheat. That ain't wheat. That's rice. Take this wheat and butter. And then we got, let me just separate these with the mouse. This, These two things I'm going to sell. This is what I need for the mission. These I have to plant. These I could sell. I'm going to plant those. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll plant those just so I have it. And then I got to put that away. The mouse makes everything so much easier. I like the controller for all the moving around. But when it comes to like organizing and doing the, the, the decorating and the town design, you really cannot be having a mouse. What am I putting away? Sticks. So I put the sticks here. Okay, so we got the key. We got all the ingredients for Elsa. And then what else do we need? We need to make a deal with Ursula. Talk to Moana. The secret door. Cook a fish pie. Oh, am I supposed to cook myself? I guess I'm supposed to cook this myself. It's a good thing I didn't go all the way to Elsa's spot. Cook a fish pie. See, look at this. So you click this, right? And then you hit select. And it automatically does it. I did not know that. So this is a fish pie for Elsa. So we'll take that to her. Take that to the Snow Queen. Make sure you have the Adrenium picking Pickled Heron. Oh, she wants that five-star dish. Oh, we ain't done then. Okay, all right. Elsa, you are bougie. Damn, I need garlic. I forgot where to get garlic from. I need to find some garlic, y'all. Can you buy garlic? I don't even remember. I think garlic might have been... Damn, now I'm thinking about it. I don't even know if it, if it's in the glade. I do remember them little white balls on the ground. You'll see them here. This might be mushrooms, though. Yeah, that's definitely not garlic. That's mushroom. Okay, you can't buy garlic from here. So, possibly garlic is up here? I don't remember. I didn't spend that much time up here. I also want to move my quick travel thing let me move this real quick see i like to move the quick travel or the wagon where's the wagon at the wagon oh look at this i didn't even see this over here you got a little pumpkin house look at that we gotta go visit there so i'm gonna move the time travels fast travel whatever it's called i'm gonna move this up here the fact they let you do this bruh is like legendary i swear like no other game will let you do this much moving around they just wouldn't. I mean, they really changed the game. I didn't mean to delete a tree, though. Let's put another tree back over here. Yeah, okay. Now, let me go over here and see. Do we have garlic, number one? We do not. I'm thinking I'm going to just sell these leek seeds because I don't think leek is going to make no money. We'll sell this, too, because I already got 50 of each one of them. And I got mushrooms. So we'll get rid of that stuff. And then just to make up for it, I'll buy a hundred, no, nah, 50. Oh, I can only buy 10. I buy 10 of those just so I had the ingredient. Same with the potato. I buy 10 of them too. And then I want to see, I don't know what these little green things are. I want to see what's up with this pumpkin house though. I completely missed this when we was out here. I got to bring these trees over to the village too. Where was that house at? Is that something we could even get to? Wait a minute. Let me zoom out. Where is this pumpkin house? Oh, the pumpkin house is down lower. Okay, I'm going up too high. This is a very hard place to navigate. I ain't even going to sit here and lie to y'all. What's the music sound like here? Let's turn the music on. Got streamer mode on? Nah, let's turn streamer mode on. Even though I heard you can still get copyrighted for streamer mode. What's this little spot? You can't even go in there. I wonder what's... I wonder who's going to be in here. You can't go in there right now, though. Okay. Well, it's a nice looking spot, regardless. 
What's up, Maui? You you out here making a bunch of noise. That's all you do is make noise. Since I'm over here, though, let me go ahead and grab some of these trees. Where am I even at? Okay, grab some of these trees. I'm going to throw them down there because I like to have all the... For a minute, I thought you could move the pumpkin house. That's probably going to be a villager that we haven't unlocked yet. Oh, is that a paper? Oh, I need to go over there in that corner before I leave. I want to grab all these bushes because my goal is to build up the town. All these other realms can wait. Can I put these trees somewhere else? Ooh, I sure can. So I can make like a Halloween vibe wherever I want to. Damn, I didn't know that. The customization is endless with this game, man. I can't wait to see like in a, in a year or six months or whatever when people really get to decorating in these towns and just go crazy what they gonna put together because it's gonna be insane because you can literally do whatever you want to like my village is pretty lit right now but this is nothing compared to what it's gonna be eventually i want this to be really tight like a disney world disneyland vibe and then we might do like a halloween theme so you could instead of like decorating the town for halloween which i might keep the crops decorated but Instead of worrying about decorating each village, we could have like up there be the Halloween town and then maybe have Elsa's spot, the ice spot be Christmas and then uh, maybe have one of them for spring or maybe not because spring is kind of lame. L season, bruh, L season. I mean, have you ever came across anybody that said they love spring? Spring is an L season. At least it is where I live because it's really just an extension of winter. So my season tier list goes, I really have to say summer is number one. I love fall, but summer has to be number one just because I, um, I love the sunlight, man. I love gardening, being outside, planting stuff, uh, watering my flowers, not my flowers, but my bushes, my shrubs. So I got to give it to summer, but then fall, then winter, then spring. And that's in uh, Ohio, so... It's a little different here because our winters last a long time. I think that's it. I think I got all the trees up here. It's kind of hard to see in this realm. I think I want to move the cart next to the pumpkin house. So it's all kind of a vibe together. That's what I think I want to do. I like building tight areas, you know what I'm saying? So we'll have like the fast travel right here. We'll have the fast travel right here. You could even throw another tree in because it's a little sparingly over here. Yeah, hey, give me another Halloween tree. That'll be our fast travel. Matter of fact, I'll put it here. Then we got the little, the little vibe right next to the pumpkin house. Which, you know what? I might go ahead and bring it a little closer. So it feels like that's part of the pumpkin house. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. All right, now let's make sure there's no other trees lying around. I think I got all of them. Trees and shrubs. Of course, not the winter biome. See, look, look at this. This could be the Christmas biome, which is where Elsa and all of them will be. So we can have a Christmas celebrating it up there and then have a Halloween celebrated over here. So we don't have to decorate all the time throughout the whole thing. You could just have different holidays in the different biomes, which is really, really cool when you think about it. All right, I think we got everything. The only thing that I got on the beach is these, these right here, which these fit on the beach. I don't think I'd want to put these in the town. I don't want the town to be too beachy. So I think I'm gonna leave them there. All right, let's 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 get into what I was doing before we started doing this, which that was getting the, I was looking for garlic, wasn't I? Uh, let's see, I know they don't sell garlic. They don't sell garlic. Uh, the beach one, I definitely don't think sells garlic. So if this one don't sell garlic, that's gonna be a wrap. Nope, they got onions, but not garlic. Where did I get that garlic from? 
I got that from somebody's realm, and I do not remember which one it was. Unless it was on the ground up here, but I don't think so. Okay, so I want to get this up by three. That was the whole point. This is going to be a long episode. I told y'all, we, we rocking with Disney, man. So I can't really make this other meal for, for Elsa until I get garlic. Where are we going? <laughs> That's so weird that that does that. So until I can get that garlic, I'm going to just put these ingredients back because I don't need all this stuff. Oh, did y'all didn't see the updated house. Got a lot of stuff I be needing to show y'all. Let me just put these ingredients back. Um, yeah, so we'll keep these. I do want to open that chest too and see what's in there. But this is the new house, man. I, I actually need to go ahead and fix this up a little bit while I'm doing it. But I, I like the way I was doing it. I didn't have a mouse yesterday when I was actually doing it. So that's why it looks a little strange. See, I almost feel like for real, for real, I don't need to try and put a kitchen in here. I got the little radio because I feel like the radio is kind of giving me a little energy. I got this pillar in here, which the pillar, the pillar's okay. The pillar's okay. I might not keep it though because I kind of prefer this to be moved over. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can I fit the pillar? I can fit the pillar there. That's not a bad look though. Not a bad look at all. I don't have a whole bunch of furniture yet. See, I got a little cheese puffs on the table. Them supposed to be cheese puffs. I can't move the chess board. Well, we could just pretend he's eating cheese puffs and playing chess. I like this furniture set way better than the Buzz Lightyear stuff. I like the Buzz Lightyear stuff, but this just looks a lot better. I could probably move this chess. Probably not. Yeah. Damn, I wish I could, though. Because in that way, that's not in the way. They do have better... You know what? Let's go to the store. Let's go to the store, y'all. Let's go to the store. Because I hit my buy limit the other day. Let's go to the store. We doing, I'm telling you, it's a million different things you could do in this game at one time. Which is what makes it so great. Oh, he ain't got nothing in the window. Yeah, I bought everything in here, and it's like, it hasn't replenished yet. Oh, I hope there's not a leak in my money bin. I hope there's not a leak in my money bin. I hope I didn't order too many clothes. I mean furniture items. Cause yesterday it said I did. So hopefully I can order some things. Cause I like to order this stove. You see how nice they got this? They got a whole little kitchen set up. Let's buy this. Let's make sure this is the stove we want. Cause that's what messed me up yesterday. So I got a stove. I like this black stove. So let's get that one. Okay, so we got the black stove. I need to get, uh, I need to get a sink. This is a double basin sink, and this is a black basic sink. I'm thinking the double because we lit, but I don't want to take up too much space either. But I'm still thinking the double. Okay, so we got the double. Is there a way I could just organize this by kitchen? Uh, there is not. That's all right. That's all right. I'm sure they'll fix that in the future. And then we have, we can do the same L shape, which I don't want to do. We got the double sink. I like to add this. This is for the wall, right? Top cupboard, glass black. Yeah, that'll be for the corner. These should be top. Yeah, these are top two. We'll get one of them. Matter of fact, I might need two of them. Yeah, let's get two of these. Mmm, possibly three, possibly four. And then I had a double sink. I think I got one of them corner pieces already at the house. I think. Mmm, where's the other counters that had a stone top, though? I know these stone tops are somewhere. Damn, I hope that's the right set. Because this almost don't look like the same set. Do it? Like, the stuff I got at home has a stone top. Damn, I really hope that's the same set, because if it's not, we're going to have a leak in our money bin, <laughs> as Scrooge would say. I'm going to grab the single sink, too, just to be sure. And then we're going to grab some single counters. But where are the single? Yeah, it is. So this isn't at the house. Grab one of them, and then we got to get... 
Mm, it's like every time I go on the menu, it's different. Which is throwing me off. We got to get one of these. Matter of fact, this is different than this, ain't it? Yeah, no, nah, it's the same set. Let's get one of these. One of these. And one of these. That'll be three. What's this, a TV? I think I'm going to keep the TV I have for right now. Uh, it's kind of weird. They only let you buy one of them counters. And then this is a double kitchen island. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to see what it do. We got a toaster that's white, which is not going to look good. But we're going to buy it anyway. We got a blender that's white. We're going to buy it anyway. I mean, what we do all this hustling for if we ain't going to buy all the stuff? You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is already stuff we have. Anything I want to double up on? I got all this stuff for leveling up. I'm actually on level 40 now, which is max level right now. That'll probably be upped in the future, but for right now, 40 is the highest, which is pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. We have been playing this a lot, though. Like, I've been playing this more than any other game the last week. I haven't even touched Fortnite, and I got to get on there and get all my challenges done so I can uh, finish the battle pass. Okay, I think we got enough to do a kitchen. I think we got enough to do a kitchen. So let's go back to the crib. You know, I was thinking I could have made a TV stand out of these counters. I'm going to go back to the house, though. I'm going to go back to the house. Go back to the house. Turn the music off, because... Matter of fact, when I'm doing the decorating, I should throw some Sims music in. Make y'all feel like we playing the Sims. This game has a very, very Sims-like aspect to it, though. I mean, like... It has like five games wrapped in one. It's, it's such a legendary game, man. It's such a legendary game. Okay, now this is the new furniture set. Now let's cue the Sims music because we about to get into some Sims decorating. Now, I don't like this red counter. Actually, I don't like anything on this counter. Let's get rid of this, remove this. This gold plant is kind of cool. I don't know how rare it is. That'll make it cooler or less cool. So, I don't know, but we're going to remove all of this, though. And then, we're going to go in here, and we're going to get these new kitchen items. Get these new kitchen items cracking. Now, we got... I actually ordered a little more than I needed, but that's all right. So, we got the black double-door glass counter. This goes up here on the ceiling. Damn, you could actually put it as high up as you want it. Damn, Game Loft, Disney, I see you. And we could put that there. We could put the sink here. Or we could use our double sink. I actually like the double sink a little bit better. We could put the drawer there. We could put the stove here. Uh, add another cabinet here. The island. We could even do an island. This might be a little crammed up though. This is a little, little bit crammed. Black top cupboard. Is that the same set? That almost don't look like the same set, do it? We got a couple of these that we can throw up. Dang, I should have got some more. We got a single sink. We do got another cabinet I could put here. I could put the lights hanging right over the island. That'll be dope. Lights hanging over the island. That's always lit. And then I don't think we could change the flooring to make it like change. You know what I'm saying? Like how we doing the Sims. But that might change. Who knows? Even if it doesn't, I ain't tripping. Okay. Then we got the toaster. I don't know where I want to put all this yet. Maybe put the toaster there, the blender here. I meant to buy that microwave, too. I need to get a couple more to go up top. A couple more to go up top. This is a little close, too. So if I move this up, though, because this does need to be moved up. If I move this up, I don't think the character can get over here, which is kind of... I like to do it like this. Yeah, I don't think the character can walk over here, y'all. I could be wrong, but I don't think they can. I need some plants too. You know I need the plants in the corner. I got a couple on the wall, but I need some corner plants. I mean, we, we doing better than it was. We doing better than it was. I like the new kitchen. I mean, you see the items we got. We ain't really got that much. And a lot of this stuff isn't gonna really match. Like we can put it in here, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like some of the colors aren't there and even some of the, um, you know, some of the themes don't make too much sense neither. I kind of like the little vowel thing though potion cupboard i wonder if we can you know that might look kind of cool where the chests are what y'all think something like this like the cupboard in the corner mm, i might need to move 
Move the desk. I really gotta get some more wallpapers and stuff. That's what's really killing me right now. Cause this design is a little eh. Design is a little eh. Mm, this needs to go next to the stove anyway because that's where all the food is. And then over here is the fish, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Eh, that does not, that does not look right. I mean, I'm kind of to the point where I want it to look more put together than I care about everything matching. You know, I just want it to feel like decorated more than I care about it making a lot of sense. Like this chair is not the right color. We already know that, but it's a chair there. It needs a chair there. So just let there be a chair there and don't worry about it looking perfect. I got to get some windows in here too because all these windows I have are all beat up windows that are still boarded up. We don't want to put them on the wall. And I don't think I have any windows that I got from the store except these, which that ain't going to match at all. And of course my windows that I got over here, which are beautiful. I don't even know where I got them from. Refreshment chest. What's this? I got to see what that is. Is that something I could actually store? Oh, and this is a bookshelf. Oh. So I'm going to make it so decorated in here. They ain't going to be able to move around. I bet you right now I've hit that point where it's decorated decent, but they ain't going to be able to move around in here. I mean, we're going to see. There's still a lot of... There's still a lot of stuff we can do decorating wise to make this look better but for right now it's not looking too bad i think i might want to move this though and instead of having another counter here put the chest here because that's where all the food is then if we can we can't really center this so uh yeah you know they, they got a little work to do they got a little work to do here with the with the decorations in the house but that's okay though, because this is a good start. This is a very good start. Still W Disney, still W Game Loft. But I need to get those top counters. See, this is a little nicer, man. It's a little tight though. I thought he could get past here. I think he might be able to get past on the other side. Yeah, he can. Okay, so you can sit down, kinda. He can't sit on the couch, because the table is too big. But you know what? I could use a different table. I like this table. I gotta get this chessboard off of here. I can't even get the chessboard off of here. It's like stuck to the table. And I can't get rid of the table because the chessboard is on the table. Oh man, that's glitched up, man. That's definitely glitched up. Cause see what I was gonna do was put the smaller table in. Cause I got a stone coffee table. Black, where's it at? Yeah, black coffee table. I was gonna throw this one in cause this one's a lot smaller. We can still do the Cheetos, cheese puffs. We could even do the gold plant with it, which I don't think I would. I prefer to do the chessboard. Damn, can I go at I can't go at it from no angles neither. That chessboard is like stuck on there. Well, if y'all know any way to get that chessboard off of there, that would be helpful. But you see, that would look a lot better in here. But this is stuck. Let's start the game up. All right, and then go in again and see if I can maybe move it with the controller. That's really stuck on there. And there's no way to get that off of there either. Damn, that sucks too, because this coffee table looks so much better. All right, well, we can't cry about it. We have to just deal with it. So we're going to have to keep this table. And if I want to sit in it, the table's just going to have to be moved up, up more. That's all. It's all kind of decorating in here. It's kind of all over the place because you got this wood, which I think this probably should go. And maybe put this over here because that's kind of like potions, maybe a part of the kitchen. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It looks decent though. It looks decent. It looks decent. It looks decent. And now we could actually sit in the couch too. And we could eat our cheese puffs. You know what I'm saying? Watch some Disney Dreamlight Valley. Cool. You could still get through there. Yeah, I like to see them add where you can put the fire, you know, put the fire on, stuff like that. Those I think are basic needs. This is not even a real item, so we're going to get rid of that. I thought you could maybe store stuff in this, but you cannot. So it's pointless. The kitchen is looking way better, man. Tell me that kitchen don't look super official, though. And we can still cook. Yeah, that's clean. While I'm in here, I might as well make some souffles so I could eat. Because I'm going to have to do all them, all them pumpkins, man. So basically what I do is I make like 10 of these joints. Now that I know that autofill, that is like the best thing I've ever found out. Because that is super helpful. And these souffles are way better to deal with than the crops 
I think that's enough for right now, though. I hope. I think. Yeah, that's enough. That's nine. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so what was I doing before I decided to do the house? I straight up completely forgot what the hell we was doing. But that's the, the, the beauty of this game, man. There's a million different things for you to do, so you can always have something fun to do. Oh, I remember what it was. We was going to start pulling up the pumpkins, but I need a garden specialist with me. Who do I want? I could pick Mickey, but Mickey gets on my nerves. Um, Who's a garden specialist is dope. We got Moana. We got Anna. I actually like Anna a lot. Anna's pretty chill. She reminds me of, like, just a cool, like, friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm, where's Wally at? I ain't seen Wally in forever. Let's have Wally do it. Where you at, Wally? You at... Where the house is that? Almost look like you was in my house. Where are y'all at? You gotta be in here, because you can't be in my house, right? <laughs> yeah, y'all in here chilling. I'm gonna need Elsa, too. Elsa is so elegant that she actually makes me wanna, like, always have her with me. She reminds me of, like, having Final Fantasy characters with you. But I need a gardener. So, Wally, you need to be my boy. Help me out. Do a little small talk with you. But then I need you to come on and hang out with me. So we could do this gardening. I throw a little music in, too. You know what I'm saying? A little, little Final Fantasy VII. Maybe a little garden era theme. Now, I'm gonna start here. Matter of fact, you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to try that trick that Tagback used where he locked the villager in a fence. But how did he do that, though? Did he just draw a fence around him? And do I have enough fencing? Wally was standing, like, around here somewhere. Oh, uh, no, I don't have enough fencing. I want to see if this works, though. So I'm kind of willing to... I'm kind of willing to take up something just to try this. I just want to make sure that I'm at least remotely in the right spot. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty much there. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. You stay there, Wally. You stay there, Brody. I'm about to lock you in this in this fence. Whoever came up with this, y'all crazy as hell, yo. Yeah. Who thought to lock the villagers in the fence? Okay, I need to click I need to click somewhere. Alright, give me this. Remove this. Give me all of this fencing. I'll put that back when the time comes. I just wanna see if this works. And then we're gonna do this. Just like that. Lock Wally in the fence. Now, if this works, okay, perfect. Look like Wally in jail. Now, if this works, it should it should keep all the extra stuff he gets in the fence, and it won't come out until after he gets out the box. And that might not work because I'm already seeing that that was an extra pumpkin right there. But it might work though, cause this is he ain't throwing no extras out, and I'm thinking he would have been throwing extras out if he wasn't in the fence. And if this works properly, when we're done doing this, it's going to be so many pumpkins that get blown out into the land. It's going to be insane. I think it's actually working, y'all. Trying to get a couple extras. This is actually so much better because it really creates havoc when you have to... Damn, I didn't mean to cut into that one. I think I only want to do three and three. Okay, he's still getting his hearts. So this is cool. It did just throw one over there. Oh no, that was a memory. Okay, y'all, I think this might work. This might just work. The pumpkins are really satisfying to look at. If this works, y'all about to be like, what the hell? I'm telling you, it's about to be crazy. If y'all haven't checked out Tag Back TV, man, on YouTube, cool dude, super chill. He be streaming. That's where I got this information from. Now, if this works the way it's supposed to, when we delete this fence, there should be an abundance of pumpkins that come flying out. All right, while he's going somewhere. Damn, it did work. Okay, yeah. And see, now we can pick up all the extra pumpkins. These would have been all the pumpkins that he would have threw down while we were still doing it. And we would have had to stop and pick up. Now we don't. And there's a lot of pumpkins. So these is all from having a garden perk. Higher the garden perk, the more extras. It's about to decorate the town looking like fall real quick. Perfect. Now I want to extend this out a little bit. Take up the fence since that worked. Can I extend this? Nah. Well, that'll let you. No, that won't let you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the fence back. As cool as that is, though, I don't think I'll use it that often. Because you still got to pick up the pumpkins. But possibly. We'll see. All right. So we're going to extend the post back to the way it's supposed to be. Like that. Man, look at all these sticks and debris that get 
cluttered up behind these houses. This game isn't really built for tight villages, even though we're going to do it anyway. And then we're going to get rid of all these plots. Uh, what do we want to use to do that? I was just going to use these. This is probably the easiest way to do it. It's really smart when you put them in between the three. Yup, just like this, get rid of these. We still have a lot of crops, but I need to get a little bit more space for this walkway. So I need to craft some brick. Might as well do this side too. See, the best way to do it is like that. Place it right in the center and you get all, so was it nine? Yeah, you get all nine of them knocked out at the same time. All right, now we gotta craft some brick. I think I got plenty of stone. I gotta do some iron stuff, but I'll do that off camera. Cause I can't play too much on this file because, or right now on this date, because I don't want to make it where I have to play past this date to catch up. This date is already a week in advance, so I don't want to do too much. Now paving, sometimes this doesn't pop up for some reason. I don't know why. You see how that didn't pop up at first? Metal stake. Hey, you can make a, a little evil looking thing. We got golden brick road now. Which if you really want to flex, Golden Brick Road is the way to do it. Gold and Opal, which is really high end. But I'm just going with the Brick Road because, you know, I mean, we ain't, we still at the beginning of the game. So Brick Road is just stone. Damn, I thought I had more stone in this. Only 45? <sighs> I got to do some hustling off camera, man. I got to get some rocks. I got to get some rocks bad. And I got to get Iron Ignit. And I got to do it all today because if I don't, the time traveling thing ain't gonna work so that was only extending it by one i'm gonna have to do something different though because i gotta see how it looks by three let's just take uh, let's take a little bit off of this side i just want to see what it actually looks like you know what i'm saying it's hard to do that when you don't have enough to do what you need to do all right so we got so then ideally let's just pretend we'll put the bushes more in the center here that's probably not even the center. That might not be. I might take another row of pumpkins. I don't know. But let's see. Now that'll give you, yeah, that'll give you a decent amount of space to walk. Imagine this all being paved off. I could probably take one more row, but I don't think I am. I think that's enough. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode, do a bunch of mining, get Elsa, because Elsa's mining bay. We're going to get Elsa, mine some iron, mine some stone. Hopefully she thought a lot because I got five mining specialists. Um, so hopefully that helps. And then when I come back, hopefully this brick is done and my game is fixed as far as the time traveling. But I don't know because I have been playing this every day. So we'll see. That was amazing. All of those long, hard hours of walking definitely pay off. Well. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.